hello in this video i am going to cover all the different grid sizes so we've already got a basic little grid system right here and as a recap remember in the container where all your pages where the content goes you know you know what you're seeing not necessarily the css and the javascript etc you need a row inside of it you can have multiple rows i'm gonna have a separate video covering that and inside each row you will have one or more columns which span x amount of you know spaces there's a total amount of 12 spaces in each row and you can have any number you want as long as it's not a decimal okie dokie i'm actually going to hide this just so we've got a bit more room to play with and first of all i'm going to go to this website i've got a link to this in the, in the description and this basically covers all the different sizes. So there's extra small. We covered SM previously, which is small. There's medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. So these are the conditions. So if it's less than 576 pixels wide, and that is the browser width. So the, if the browser width is less than 576 pixels wide, then it will default to whatever, you know, that particular you know setting is in terms of the amount of you know spaces it should take in the column if it's greater than 576 but i mean greater than or equal to 576 but less than 768 that's just automatically inferred by this actually no let me rephrase if it's greater than 576 then you'll be whatever small is but if there's also a setting for medium which is greater than 768 then this will get set when it goes above this range even though it's technically above this range so it trickles up so this will trickle up all the way for these sizes unless there's a specific size specified or specific you know width specified for one of these but they don't trickle down so if i set large to span six columns for example but i have nothing for medium small and extra small then by default it will span 12 columns so it doesn't go down but it does go up and here are you know as you see the different widths and they go all the way up to extra extra large if you come back come from an old you know bootstrap framework you might be used to only really have enough of like extra small small medium and larger i don't think extra large was in there in the older version it was in there in bootstrap 4 but you know, it depends on what version you've come from so things have slightly changed so the class prefix so this is the one we use call dash sm then dash then the amount of columns or the amount of spaces we want each column to span and for extra small you don't specify dash excess as you used to in bootstrap 3 in 4 and 5 you don't need to do that anymore you can't do that anymore you just put call dash then the number or whatever property you're trying to affect for extra small so let's implement something so what we're going to say is for extra large it's going to span one column for and that was extra extra large for extra large span two columns for let's say large you'll span three columns for medium you'll span four columns for small you'll span six columns and if we leave extra small then it will span 12 columns even if you wanted to span 12 columns i as a habit prefer to put call dash 12 just so when i'm looking at it I just know what that size is it's just you know my preference but this technically isn't required because this is the default you know property so likewise this would not be required uh, in this scenario but if let's say you wanted large to be 12 you would need to specify it as 12 because medium is 4 and then that will get trickled up unless otherwise overridden and there we go so let's save that and what we're gonna do I'm gonna copy that override this and i'm gonna have i'll have a few different instances of these Just copy that. okay i think that should probably get the job done before yeah this is just optional what i'm doing here but it's just so we can easily see the way everything has reordered because if they all just say the same thing we don't know which one is which my dog has started or my sister's dog has started barking someone is clearly at the door 
she can handle that. And I'm gonna save that. Reload. There we go. We have 13 different columns. You may see on the 13th one, it's gone on to don't say the next row, onto the next line, because row multiple rows are you know two different things. So the 13th one, remember, we can only have a total of 12, you know, sections in you know each row anyway. And if on extra extra large, each one of these spans one. 12 of them equals 12 in total. So this has to go into the next line. Um, but if I start resizing it, now we are in the extra large category where the each you know column spans two of the spaces in the row. So that means there's only a maximum of six that can fit. And there we go, and there's some spacing on each side. It is even, it's just because this is justified to the left automatically inside each column. It looks like there's a little more here, but this actual column probably ends round about here, and this one ends round about here, etc. Okay, so it's not it's not depending on the content that's inside it, but these properties that we've set. So let's go a little smaller. So we go to large, so there's only four of them now, so you know four times three. If we go to medium, there'll only be three on a row. As you can see, it's automatically adjusting. If we go to small, there'll just be two on a row. Again, I don't say row on a line. Again, you know, sorry for that, I mean on a line. If we go really small, they're all on, you know, individual lines. So that is all the grid sizes. There's extra, extra large, extra large, large, medium, small, and you know, extra small. Highly recommend, if you're coming from a previous version of Bootstrap, Go over this one you'll be able to go over really quickly because you already have that sort of mindset about the grid system about 12 spaces and all that stuff but this has slightly changed so recommend that you have a look at it that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video